Okay, so main question is, which of the following complications is most likely responsible for this patient's presentation? Uh, choices are below. A 35-year-old man is brought to the emergency department after a high-speed motor vehicle accident. He is conscious but reports severe chest pain that radiates to the back. He has a history of hypertension and smokes one pack of cigarettes daily for the past 10 years. On examination, his blood pressure is 150 over 95 in the right arm and 130 over 80 in the left arm. His uh, pulse is 110 beats per minute and regular. The trachea is deviated to the right. Uh, breath sounds are diminished in the left hemothorax and a harsh systolic uh, murmur is heard in the left sternal border and the x-ray shows a widened uh, mediastinum. So I think the main thing is his history of hypertension, chest pain that radiates to the back, or vehicle accident. Uh, trachea is deviated. So that kind of tells me that it could be something like a pneumothorax. Um, and then the harsh systolic murmur that's heard in the left sternal border, um, widened mediastinum. So that widened mediastinum could be perhaps like cardiac tamponade, but which of the following complications is most likely responsible? So I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, work me through kind of, so um, acute or chronic is here. Acute. Acute issue, okay. He has a lot of pain that radiates to the back. Mm -hmm. um, one arm has a higher blood pressure than the other, right? Um, trachea is deviated. Breast sounds are diminished in the left hemothorax. Um, harsh systolic murmur on the left sternal border, and then chest X-ray shows wide mediastinum. So, you want to put the whole picture together here. So let's kind of think to yourselves: Is a pulmonary contusion? What is a pulmonary contusion? I'm guessing just trauma to the lung, or yeah, so a little bit of a bruise to the lung. So probably not going to have that, right? Mm -hmm. Pneumothorax. Um, uh, can be possible, right? Um, with the DVA trachea, so let's leave that there. Hemothorax, right? Blood within the um, uh, within the chest could be a possibility. Cardiac tamponade. What kind of symptoms do you have with cardiac tamponade? Um, I'm guessing. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, so cardiac tamponade is Beck's triad. Right. So um uh, uh Bex triad, right? Uh do you remember kind of Bex triad by any chance? Um I'm trying to remember. No. So Bex triad, if you want to remember is um three things. One, two, three. Bex triad. Okay. Um, you have hypotension. Okay, you have hypotension. Then you'll have venous distension or JVD, jugular venous distension, right? And then diminished heart sounds. Okay, so do you have any of that here? Um, no. No, right? So unlikely, right? And the reason why you have diminished heart sounds is because blood is filling around your heart. So you can't hear the heartbeat. You have hypotension because you're losing blood. And then uh, venous distension is because your heart is compressed in. And so um, the blood is backed up into the venous system. Okay. Makes sense so far. Mm -hmm. And remember, I'm working through this question just like you, right? So now we got it down to three aortic dissection, hemothorax, pneumothorax. So which one of these three would fit the majority of the answer choices. So you have pain that radiates to the back, you have hypertension um, on one arm compared to the left. You also have a little bit of diminished um, diminished um, breast sounds on the left, but then a harsh systolic murmur heard of the left sternal border and then a widened mediastinum. If you were to pick your gut answer choice, what would it be? It would probably be the aortic dissection. Okay. Now, remember, when I when I ask you kind of, do you want to keep it or change it, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, you only want to change it if you're 100% sure. So do you want to keep this answer choice or you want to change it? Mm, 
I'll I'll just keep it. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. So good. That's your answer choice, right? So if you work through this, right, the reason why I didn't want to answer for you, because I, I still want you to kind of think through this, right? Because aortic dissection is going to explain the majority of the information, right? You have a widened mediastinum, right? It's going to, right? You're going to have a systolic murmur, right? Um, you're going to have different blood pressures, right? Depending on kind of where it's, you know, where it's dissected, right? And then also you're going to have this severe chest pain that radiates to the back, right? Those all fit with cardiac tamponade. Hemothorax and pneumothorax will only, you know, that will only support kind of your, you know, diminished breath sounds on one side, but it's not going to have, you know, you're not going to have a wide mediastinum, right? You will have a DVA trachea, right? But you see how not too much evidence supports those, but the majority supports the aortic dissection. Does it make sense? Yes. So that's how I want you to clinically work through these questions. Okay. Okay.